Hey, tea time tea. So here we go. We have sedition. We have treason. We have an attempted coup. And we have the GOP acting as if, what happened? We don't know. I mean, we need to take time to think about this. We need to take time to figure things out. Even though A, B, C is right there in front of their face. But it's inconvenient for them to do their damn job. Everyone saw, plain as day, this crowd riled up by Giuliani. And then Donald J. Trump went out and put a cherry on top. Follow me to Congress. We're going to save the steel. We're going to stop the steel. Stop the votes. Stop the count and fix everything. Even though 60 different court cases all say, there's nothing to fix. You lost. But like a toddler, he's constantly sending out attorneys go to this court, go to that court. He tried to intimidate the Secretary of State of Georgia. He forced the Attorney General of Georgia to resign because he wasn't doing his bidding. Again, intimidation. Hmm. Two grounds right there for impeachment. But the GOP? No. They had to have people break in the door. They had to have blood in the lobby. They had to have a police officer die. They had to have a dozen people injured. Officers ransacked. Shit smeared on walls. Chairs pissed on. And again, it falls to the Democrats. In the House, they drew up the articles of impeachment. Insurrection, instigating insurrection and sedition. It's been sent over to Mitch. We all know him as the one. Bills go to him to die because he never brings them up for debate because it wouldn't suit his purposes. So he has the bill to impeach him. And just like last January, he's looking the other way. Looking up there. Oh, well, we'll get to it. You can vote on it Monday, the 11th, but we won't get to it till the 19th. And then we won't be able to begin impeachment until an hour after Biden becomes president. Because you're shitting your pants scared of Trump. You don't want to lose your supporters back in Kentucky. Cruz doesn't want to lose his in Texas. Holly in Kansas. Scott in Florida. It is blatant cowardice on display that the oath they swore on Bible doesn't mean a damn thing to them. The oath they took to the Constitution? Oh no, we can't honor that right now because our constituents won't like that. This is a travesty. You're talking about waiting till the 19th to bring it up for debate and maybe vote on an hour after Biden is sworn in on the 20th. For over a month, it's been floating around online. Go to Washington on the 6th. Everyone knew this shit. Everyone knew that it was a threat, a blatant threat. And yet they took no steps to be prepared for it. Now, because they're emboldened, they're talking about coming back the 17th or the 19th or the 20th. They came to D.C. with weapons. They came to D.C. with bombs. They came to D.C. with gasoline cans. They were not coming to have tea. By now, this shit show should have been stopped. Put your foot down. But you see, the House can't do it by itself. 
the Senate is supposed to work with them, just as they were to work with them last January. They are allowing these fascist authoritarianism to go just wild. Little Donnie boy wants to be a dictator. And again, the Senate is cracking the door, letting him stick his foot in, letting him tamper with shit. Twitter was warned months ago. You need to put him on lockdown. You need to shut down his Twitter account. It took them until people died, until steps were bloodied, to shut down his account. They actually were not going to do it. They only gave him a 12-hour timeout. And as soon as that shit was done, he went right back to tweeting that bull crap. They stole the election from me. And finally, finally, they shut him down. Mitch McConnell is very well aware they could have done the 25th Amendment. He's talking about he's going to wait until Biden takes office. You could shut him down right now. Pence could be sworn in for the next 12 days. He could take the oath. Trump could go to Mar-a-Lago because you're not considered capable. There's no reason to have a 25th Amendment if you're not going to pull on the big boy and girl pants and do the damn job. But they don't want to do that. That's why Nancy drew up the impeachment papers again. Because he knew she knew damn well McConnell was going to do nothing. So she had to have a backup. And even the backup, he's undermining by saying he can't pull the senators from the Senate back for a special vote. He can. He's done it for corporations. He's done it for anything he wants to get passed. But the American people, damn you. You're not worth the time. I'm not going to call people back to do this vote. He is choosing not to do that. Even though members of our House and our Senate were hemmed in in the basement with the Secret Service defending them. The National Guard didn't show up for over 90 minutes because Trump didn't call them. He didn't give a damn. He wasn't there. He could watch this shit on television as if it were a TV show. At the White House. Because he lied to people and said, let's go to Congress. And almost 2,000 people marched up Pennsylvania Avenue. Because he told them to. Because he lied and said, let's go. As if he was going. No, he got in his limo and took his ass to the White House. If this was not a mob mentality... Someone would have thought and said, where's Trump? He told us to come here. He said, we were going to Congress to stop the vote. We, meaning his ass would be there and be on the line as well. It wasn't. He revved them up and then turned them loose. Like pit bulls with chunks of meat being waved in front of them, raw meat. Come on, let's go. Rah, rah, rah. And they took the leash off. And then he went home. And he ignored. No, not ignored. He watched that shit. He didn't give a damn. Our senators, from the they heard bullet shots. Their offices were stripped, ramshackled. Shit was smeared on walls. Someone pissed on tables and chairs. And he didn't give a damn. And Mike Pence, the only reason he called in the National Guard is because his ass was scared. He heard them chant, get Pence, hang Pence. They took wood and put up a scaffolding 
and hung a noose. There was someone running around with zip-tie handcuffs. What do you think they were going to do with the handcuffs? What the hell do you think they were going to do with the noose? Apparently, fear only lasts a hot second with the Republicans. They don't think things through. There is no way in hell Pence should not be telling them to bring the Senate back. Because it was your ass they were looking to hang too. But Trump didn't care about that. He was comfortable in the White House. He wanted you to stop the vote as if he had control to shut down counting the vote. His is a ceremonial position only. What's before him is what he counts. But Trump, being as ignorant as he is, doesn't understand civics, doesn't understand governance. And his minions running around out there, comprehending it is totally beyond them. There was a West Virginia representative. This is pure stupidity. You just got sworn in Sunday. You go on Wednesday to this riot. And you could clearly hear him. He was seen there with the Trump hat on. He's a trump looking. When they forced the door into the lobby to the alcove, there were big, beautiful paintings of Washington crawling the de crossing the Delaware. Battle of Bunker Hill. Battle of New York. These are paintings that are almost almost 200 years old, some of them over 200 years old. You heard him shouting, don't vandalize, don't vandalize. There are 300 people in that lobby. They just crashed in windows and doors. They just vandalized the building. Why would they give a damn about those paintings? Those priceless national treasures. Why would they give a damn? Do you really think it was impossible for them to just rip those up? They're anarchists. They don't believe in government. They believe what Trump told them. They're all liars. They should all die. That is what these people believed. And you thought your tiny little voice was going to matter? Don't vandalize? Tell that to the officer who was hit in the head with a fire extinguisher and his family had to take him off life support. Tell that to the officer with the multiple broken ribs who was crushed between two doors. Tell that to the other five people who had to, had to, who are in the hospital. Try telling that to whoever brought the Molokov cocktails and the gasoline. You had people walking around the halls of Congress snapping pictures. This has been advertised six weeks back. Are you seriously going to tell me that professional spies did not infiltrate these people? My money's on Russia. We know he's been stoking this fire. We know exactly what he's going to do. All we have to do is go in with the crowd, go in with the flow. Go into the offices of senators. Copy email addresses. Copy paperwork. That's all we have to do. I mean, just let the fools run wild. Put on a good show. Chant, Trump, 2020. Yeah, get in there and take as many pictures as you can. Send it back to us. Because these stupid Americans. They will break into Congress a place that has not been broken into in over 200 years. And at that time, it was the British breaking in. This is disgusting. And the truly sad part is the GOP has become the party of fascists. The fact that Cruz, Hawley, 
Scott Kennedy. After someone has spilled blood, after people have been beaten, after you have been herded into a basement and you hear bullet shots in your halls, to come up and try to vote against certifying the votes for Biden? What was that? Your show for when you try to run for presidency in 2024? I opposed him. So uh, I was a good patriot. No, you're not a patriot. No. You're just someone who wants to keep power. And that's all you're focused on. Damn everybody else. Damn the disgrace of our halls in Congress. No. We need a strong third party. We may need to pull some for rhinos. We may need to pull some from progressives since the Democrats keep pissing on them. We need a strong third party to retire the GOP and to plant their teeth in the ass of the Democrats to get them to always stay on the straight and narrow. We need this or this nation will go down. And we have the most dangerous 12 days coming up because the GOP is not focused on the nation. They're focused on their self. Each and every one of them is focused on their self. We are in danger. The sign at Trump's rally said, Save America. My question is, save it from what? What is attacking America? They're not Muslims. They're not brown people. They're not Mexicans. What is it being saved from? I mean, it's a cute saying. Kind of like, make America great again. What is it being saved from? Healthcare? Education? Good dental hygiene? What the hell is it being saved from? What it needs to be saved from is a GOP that's lost its way and a wannabe dictator in our White House. We don't need a large inauguration. We need a small one held in the White House. A thoroughly guarded White House. We don't need the awning and the um, scaffolding put up for people to come. No. We need, I believe it was Woodrow Wilson that basically had a small dinner at the White House. He didn't have a big inauguration. That's exactly what Biden needs to do. No, no big party. We'll wait a year. We'll have a party then. There's too much work to be done. We've got, we've got over 300,000 people dead. We are being swamped by coronavirus. We have this traitor stoking sedition and treason. He needs to be impeached. He needs to be stripped. And God damn it, Senate, you have nothing, nothing to debate other than I. Yes, we agree he should be impeached. Nothing to debate. And this does not have to wait until Biden is in office. Because when 2020 comes around, we fully understand they will try to use, well, he was impeached by Biden. and No president's ever impeached another president before. That's just so abnormal. Do your damn job. You have no reason to be off this week. You were just off for the goddamn holiday. Now you have another fucking holiday? Another damn two weeks off? Anyway. As you can tell, I'm more than a little bit pissed off. And I speak for quite a few Americans. We are not happy with this shit. That was a complete shit show shown around the world. 
And it all started with a mistake made four years ago when a con man, thief, rapist, adulterer, shyster was voted into office. Anyway, just my thoughts, just a little conversation. Tea time with tea. Y'all have a good evening. Remember, just the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Keep your eye on the shit that's going on because it's not over yet. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.